Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making Oyakodon. It's a modified version because I didn't have all the ingredients that I need and I didn't want to go to the store because of what's going on in the world today. So if you guys want to know how I did this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Now I am using one and a half pounds of chicken. You can use chicken breast or thigh meat. It does not matter. But your cooking time may differ depending on thickness. So keep watching and let's make this because it's really easy. Alright, I'm starting off with one cup of water and half of a bouillon cube because those are usually like two cups worth. So we're going to do this divided and we will use the other half of the bouillon cube later into the recipe. As you saw, I did go ahead and add my sugar and my soy sauce and the sake right into it. I am cooking all of this on a high heat to keep it boiling and just so you guys know use your substitutes as needed. I use Blenda so you can see like the white parts right there because they don't dissolve as well as regular sugar does and I am using sake cooking wine and if you don't have it you can use um, soju if you have it or a rice cooking wine. A little bit different but you just got to go with what you have. Again, I am using Splenda to keep this diabetic friendly and you can tell it doesn't dissolve as well. So I'm just stirring as much as I can to get it to dissolve as much as I can. Alright, moving right along to the vegetables. I'm just going to let the onion roll away and I'm going to cut off the roots of the green onion. Now, we're going to cut these into about two inch sections. These are pretty long so that's why I'm doing two inches here. And then whatever, actually the whole entire onion is what I did, but I ended up uh, slicing all of these in about half to make them a little bit thinner because it's harder to eat when they're really big chunks of green onion in your dinner. Or at least for my kids. I was thinking of my kids when I did this. So just slice these up into really thin pieces and you can see it right there in the corner. And then grab your onion. And my onion is very large. So I'm gonna be using about half of it. And it equals about, I'd say a good cup of sliced onion when I was done. So I'm gonna split this right in half and I'm going to cut my onion into thin slices. The thicker the slices, again, it's gonna be one of those where it might be a little bit harder to eat, especially if you're serving your kids. And I mean, I want my kids to eat this, so slice them as thin as you can and then set those aside. Not actually set those aside, I'm just putting them right into a bowl so that I can move it right over on top of the stove top into our sauce that we had just made into the pan. And we're gonna go ahead and try to break up as much as we possibly can and let this saute so the onions soak up a lot of the sauce. We do want the onions to taste less onion-y, I guess. <laughs> so you do want it to absorb in the sauce. All right, let's grab our chickens. My chicken was frozen and I just threw it into the microwave and let it defrost a little bit because I find that it's a lot easier to slice when you do it like that. So if you guys didn't already know, or if you do, that's great. But if you didn't already know, you wanna go ahead and just keep it a little bit frozen just so it's easier to slice and you can get more of a un uniform slicing thickness of all of your chickens. This is the second piece of chicken that I did end up using to make about one and a half pounds worth. And then let's throw these right into our pan. Now grab about three fourths of the green onions that we had sliced up and throw those right into the pan as well. We're gonna go ahead and get these cooking all together right away first. All right, let's just try to break up some of that chicken to separate it a little bit and then grab a lid that fits your pan. If you don't have one, then just grab whatever you can or use the aluminum foil trick that I've referred to in the past and let that sit there and cook for a few minutes. As for the eggs now, you can use three to four. I used four because we love eggs. So I know this is pretty simple and it really shouldn't be in here, but just in case, some people just want very specific instructions. We're gonna go ahead and crack. I'm, again, I'm using four, four eggs right into the bowl. And then I'm gonna grab a fork, use a fork, use chopsticks, use whatever you have and go ahead and beat these so you don't have the big solid yolks right into your bowl. As you guys might have noticed by now, everything is a big giant disaster and a mess and everything's out on the counters and everything's just horrible. Quarantine life has not kept me clean. <laughs> How about you guys? Anything changed for you guys? Are you guys cleaner, messier, about the same? Comment below and let me know how things are going for you now. Okay, back to the dish. Again, you can see a lot of my broth is already gone. And if that happens to you, it's because I kept cooking it on a high heat before I put it down into a simmer. Um, go ahead and grab the other cup of chicken broth and throw that into your pan after you have everything all separated as much as you can. I just threw in a cup of water and then I'm going to throw the other half of my bouillon cube in there. You guys don't have to use bou bouillon cubes by the way. You can just use a straight powder if you have it or just a broth 
itself if you already have that. I just didn't have that. Again, I'm using what I have available in my kitchen and so this is what I'm going for. So once you have that done, go ahead and get your lid, cover it up, and we're going to let this finish cooking on a high heat to make sure the chicken is cooked through. It should take about a good 3-4 minutes and that's it. Once you see that your chicken is cooked through, this is where you would add another tablespoon of soy sauce if you need to, to have more depth or saltiness in the flavor of it. I liked mine light, and so I went ahead and just left it alone. I did not add more to it. All right, so let's grab your eggs that we had just beaten earlier, and we're gonna pour that right on top. Notice I am not stirring anything. We're gonna keep it just like this, okay? So, for your eggs, depending on how you like your eggs, Anywhere between one to three minutes. I did mine for two minutes. All of this will determine on how you want your eggs done. And after that, all we need to do is serve it. All right, everybody, grab your bowl of rice. Go ahead and put some sauce and the chicken and egg with some sesame seeds and green onions on top. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.